Well, good day to all and God's blessings to each of you. Today we honor the cross of Christ with the feast of the exaltation of the cross. We bring focus to the salvific nature of the true cross. And the purpose of today's feast helps us remember what role a device that was meant to humiliate someone at execution instead brings salvation to the world. On the cross, we see just how much God loves each of us. I'd like to share a part of Pope Francis's Angelus message he gave on this feast day in 2014, where he said, when we look to the cross where Jesus was nailed, we contemplate the sign of love, of the infinite love of God for each of us and the source of our salvation. The mercy of God which embraces the whole world, springs forth from the cross. And through the cross of Christ, the evil one is overcome. Death is defeated. Life is given to us. Hope is restored. This is important. Through the cross of Christ, hope is restored to us. The cross of Jesus is our one true hope. That is why the church exalts the Holy Cross and why we Christians bless ourselves with the sign of the cross. That is, we don't exalt crosses, but the glorious cross of Christ, the sign of God's immense love, the sign of our salvation and path towards the resurrection. This is our hope. You know, from the cross, all the sacraments flow. From the cross, where Christ's blood and water flowed from His side, these are the symbols of the Eucharist and our baptism. From the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, we have the sacrifice of the Holy Mass, where the sacrifice of Calvary is made present to us mystically in the form of bread and wine. Through the sacrifice on the cross, the Holy Spirit is released into the world, which we saw manifested with the apostles at Pentecost, and for each of us at our own Pentecost, our confirmation and all the other sacraments we receive. From the cross of Christ, he took his church as his bride, which we read in St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, which is an example for all married couples. From the cross, we get the example of how we are to love God and love others. Take time today to look at your cross and thank our Lord Jesus Christ for what He has done for us. To see the cross as a symbol of strength rather than defeat. Well, that's our reflection for today. Let us continue to pray for an end to this pandemic and through the intercession of St. Raphael the Archangel that a vaccine and treatment can be found for this virus. Let us pray for all of those that have contracted the virus and are hospitalized that they can recover quickly. Let us also remember those who have died from this virus. May they rest in peace and we pray for their families at this time. I would like to close with this prayer taken from the Roman Missal for the Mass today, where we pray the following. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known the mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And with the glorious sign of the true cross, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day, and God bless you. Amen.